All right, and there we go. So, uh, <laughs> I don't have the face cam up this time, because I want all the focus to be on the game, but we got two people in here. One is kind of a regular with me. It's Slip Silver, uh, old friend of mine, and the other is Wishnu, as you can see. Hello. So, we are going to be starting a challenge run, all ground game, uh, that I mentioned in the last video that I've been trying to plan for a while. I do have the inventory modded to start with, but if we can't capture the right blueprints on the right islands, we're going to get screwed over anyway. Uh, we have a needlefish on the other side of the island, and now for the funny thing that I'm going to try and make work for this campaign, and we'll see how painful it is, maybe we'll abandon it right away, is I have eight walrus already deployed that I have gone ahead and manually put into the uh, into the carrier. So if you go into the camera on any one of these walrus, you're going to see where exactly they are. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And uh, they've kind of gotten jostled a bit because they're still affected by the water since they're active and they're not docked. But they're not going to damage anything that's actually docked and they themselves shouldn't take any damage. The only trouble is they can only refuel and rearm while the other main convoy is out and about. So we have four 40 millimeter walruses that are on standby for, you know, like joining the convoy in an emergency. We have four IR missile walruses that are currently deployed, so we can use them to sort of, you know, shell an island before we try and move in. Um, and then we have our, tip, our, you know, what should be our quote unquote typical loadout. So that's what that's the kind of shenanigans we're up to in here. <laughs> the uh, ground units should move faster through the water. Um, so for now, we're going to leave the carrier at about this distance from the island, and we want to start with deployments. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start shelling the island a bit more, and we'll see what deploying these guys looks like. Uh, while we have the other walruses currently, you know, inside the ship. Not to mention it's going to be kind of difficult to actually deploy them. I'll be the first person to admit that I have been using the uh, IR missiles so far by locking onto the needlefish way out there and then just firing. And, I mean, the IR missiles seem to be landing. I don't know if I've gotten any kills yet. I haven't checked the log. Uh, destroyed needlefish. Oh, well, yeah, aside from the needlefish. I had to clear out some of the, uh, the naval units on the on the island first. So I was able to do that with some torpedoes. Uh, took down, I think, two swordfish. Uh, and then the two needlefish kind of fled. And now I'm just, you know, out here using one of the walrus. Feel free to grab another one and join me. Uh, try and free it from the hangar and fire off its IR missiles. Yeah, you got one vehicle destroyed turret. Oh, wow, okay. I'll take that. I got one IR missile left in this walrus, and then I'll move to the next one. Once I'm all out, then I'm going to start trying to set up a convoy and deploying. And we'll see what happens. I believe walruses should move about 15 to 20 knots in the water. Certainly, no, like, you know, nowhere close to a, uh, a needlefish or anything but definitely a lot better than the seven knots that they started with. And if the mod synced correctly, then you should also be able to hear Apocalypse's sound mod, uh, because now we should be able to, uh, you know, coordinate between him and myself, and we can keep both these things up to date.
trying to free another walrus from on top of this other bear here. Your walrus is fifty percent on a man. Uh, it's probably because one of them has, uh, or some of them have, uh, what you call it, IR countermeasures and whatnot on them. And that does show up on the amount of ammo that they have. So even if you run a unit, say, like, uh, out of you know, 30 millimeter ammo, if it still has a sonic pulse generator that has full ammo, then it'll still say it has 50% ammo, because two of its weapons, you know, it has two weapons and one of them is still full. The scary part now is going to be, I'm going to fire this IR missile, and since Slip is out there up ahead of me, I don't have a proper lock on. It may actually target him. We'll see. Oh no. Sting. Yeah, you want to try and launch convoys there, Slip. If you go out there on your own as a bear, you might be able to do some damage, but if you get overwhelmed, you won't have any support. I understand. At the moment, I'm kind of just testing this whole, you know multi-loadout thing. Oh, yep. I just had a, uh, IR missile just crash into the ocean. Might have targeted you. Yeah, I think I took a sliver of damage. No, you're good. Well, you've made landfall, I see. Good thing We may actually want to actu uh, add on actuated cameras for some of these now that I'm seeing, you know, for better multiplayer experience. It's almost dead. 10%. Oh. I'm going to deploy S7 and S5 to join you. You can be their escort, that way you've got an observation camera to call in support from the carrier, and you've got some sea whiz to defend from missiles. Also, Slip, if you can keep eyes on something, I can give attack orders. Whoa, you almost had a missile Ooh, yeah, hit you. So now we've got good uh, examples for why I absolutely hate uh, IR missiles. For direct combat specifically. Oop, time to fire the torpedo. I was waiting for you. That other needlefish is coming around. Sea Wiz should have that handled. 50%. Careful. There. Okay. You're pretty well surrounded there. Careful. 
You can let the AI take control of the gun to save yourself. We had an air unit, I think. Oh. Incoming missile. Yep, enemy air unit launched. Oh, and that needlefish turned tail and ran. Oh. Lost the bear. Well, Dang we, it! We can't produce any new bears, so you better be careful. I think it hit me directly in the face. I still had a third of, bar, third of the bar left. Well, there may be other bears on this island. I took out a decent bit of them, at least. Yeah, look up here. That AA alarm's oh, going that, off. A, yeah. That was just a scratch for that air unit. One kilometer at night. Nice. And remember that we have the carrier scope as well. I'm using that right now, trying to get some scans on the things that killed you. And for the moment, really we're not going to be able to one replace. Of heavily wounded. Yeah, it's, it's like twenty-five percent. Yep, waiting on a it's walrus to return. 20%. Once those three walruses are reloaded, I'll deploy them again, and then we can uh, replace the bear. Uh, the one you are shooting is swimming into us, maybe. <laughs> So he's, <laughs> he's like, what, one and a half kilometers off. Right on track. I don't know if we can, can we see any other units from here? Oh yeah, wow, I see, there's a huge convoy out there. There we go. I got one, two, three, four, four. Oh boy. Okay. Well, this this would be one of the opportunities to use the carrier gun. Let's see how that goes. Since we don't have air units to call in these strikes anymore. Oh! oh check God. the log. <laughs> check the log, baby. That's a jackpot. Nice. Hey, they lined that one up for me. I, that was that was all them. They wanted to die. Purely opportunistic. <laughs> We've definitely got other units moving in. Two bogeys heavily damaged, one full strength. Four, make that four. Yeah, try not to move in the uh, seals that I've deployed. They don't have an escort now. But one of them does have an observation camera, mm -hmm. so it can do the same job as the uh, carrier scope. That s that needlefish is coming back around too. I can also say things that they don't get to hear because we're using in-game chat. So if you don't see the little microphone at the bottom right corner, I'm not talking to them. Only the video gets it. That's all right. We want to try and take this island and see how painful it is. Oh yeah. So they had an IR missile seal. Um, that's probably part of what killed you since that can take out half the health of a bear in one shot. Uh, gotta wait for SeaWiz, gotta move in with a convoy. Gotta launch this torpedo! That 
that needlefish may be coming back around. I also forgot to engage the uh, maintain heading, so we've kind of been tilting with the carrier here. Hold on, let me fix that. Alright, I'm gonna see about freeing this other walrus and taking some more IR shots. Uh, the other walruses should have already docked, um, if one of you guys wouldn't mind deploying those, uh, so that we can get another bear outfitted and started up. All opposing enemy teams, except for green, have taken their fifth island, I repeat. All enemies, except for green, have taken their fifth island. Why am I not surprised? Well, they'll be taking islands much faster than we will, that's for sure. What happened to the needlefish? Disappeared. Okay, no, it says it was destroyed. That's odd. There's still a torpedo out in the water. Two out, right? Well, if it's dead, it's dead. Works for me. <laughs> that was the goal. Let me see about replacing that bear. Keep in mind, we can't replace anything yet, so losing units kind of a really big deal right now. Gotta go at this smart. We're basically playing a completely different game now.
I'm gonna try and get as many manual kills as possible as well. health. Oh, I'm just flinging him with these walruses. <laughs> Dead. Right, that should mean the shore is clear again. Oh, we had some sea whiz go off. Joke's on them. We don't have any air units. destroyed in midair. Yeah, their sea whiz has gotten too close. Green is taking their fifth island. S4 is going to be out of commission for some time. It's got to be fully built up before it can deploy. But uh, S1 and 2, or S1 and 3 should be good to go. We can't really use S2 until we've made landfall with the observation camera, because that's to call in ground artillery. So let's try and get that ob camera somewhere up high and see if we can't get a view of the target with it, and then call in some artillery on the turrets or on the target. Target is actually pretty close to the opposite side of the shore. If we make the carrier, we make the carrier go around to that side. There's a good chance we could just sneak in there with fire spots real quick. That's true, but then we're going to be leaving all the uh, ground units on the table, and that's a lot of money that we could use. And it's also, you know, not what we're here to do. Oh, I forgot. We get, we get paid for each destroyed vessel? Yeah, every single destroyed enemy is worth quite a lot of money to us. It'll be a pretty big deal to, uh, you know, use them to start building up our savings. I always forget that. Alright, I'm gonna see about getting a convoy to make landfall. I have a battle and heavy cannon bear moving in. Until we can figure out what's going on with that Sea Whiz, I guess it's better to keep the IR missiles at bay. Okay, so there's a trick that I've learned, is that uh, if you're using the targeting cam, where you're looking shows up on your mini-map. So I can use that to use the carrier scope, spot some high ground, and give a, uh, a go order. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. By all means, they're pretty good in close range. Mm -hmm. 
What I'm thinking of doing is leaving the heavy cannon and the Sea Whiz up with the observation camera, because the heavy cannon can fire long distances. And then uh, maybe we can have that bear and walrus start moving towards the target and clear the way. I'm going to clean out this island as much as possible. Here, let's see about having the AI manually deploy, <laughs> or automatically deploy. I'm going to try giving these three walrus some go orders, even though they're stuck up in the hangar, and we'll see if they free themselves. Oh yeah, I can try help unfree those walrus. By all means. Yeah, ultimately, what we want to do is we want to deploy everything, every time, and then, you know, have the walruses uh, come back in and rearm, if need be. Try to use them as sort of like our artillery, indirect fire. I gotta say, having the uh, the water speed of these things up is so very nice. It alleviates a lot of the pain of waiting for them to move forward and move in. We got contact. See, Wiz took out an IR missile. Another missile incoming. I'm having the seal break off. I'm going to go ahead and try and get it up to the uh, little plateau over here. Last mm -hmm. rest is on the water. Has all three of them managed to make it out? Yep. Excellent. Seal really doesn't like being on top of that rock. AI just tried to drive it off. I don't see any headlights from here to the target. For now. No, hostiles appear to be airing, so as of yet, after that battle. I'm gonna go ahead and have the uh, bear and walrus start moving in down this side. So I guess 
that means we'll want the other three sort of moving in closer to the hangar. I'm in fact going to just give them an order to head straight towards the airfield and we'll see what they find. Give our IR walruses actually no hold on. So weapons should be able to scan targets, or rather mark targets, just not scan them. So if we spot something, at least the uh, rest of the units know where it is. I swear I see a turret over there, but it's probably just a rock. That can't be all the enemy units. I don't want only two flyers. That's also concerning. You know, I don't see any lights on your camera. You just send the fire spots, and I think that's it. Yeah, I have deployed the virus spots, and their go oh, companion C was hold up. Oh uh, yeah, they they tend to be. Already deadlier than our opponents. Well, somebody took control of the bear there. Who was it? I was only looking through the camera. Oh, you could have pulled it off. Kept it safe. My bad. Nah, it's alright. You gotta be more confident to do stuff like that if you're gonna join in. I wasn't joining in, I was just watching. I was watching the one that you were piloting.
floors technified. Oh yeah, they're probably shooting at the uh, turrets that are on the target. Yeah. So we know that the uh, target has turrets, of course. It's a shield, three shield island. The hangar seems clear. That's odd. Only two ships on a three shield? In planes, you know what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe they crashed or something? Because, you know, we are still having issues here and there with uh, the enemy AI not taking off correctly. Oh, so they're still stupid. Alright. Sometimes. I'm gonna try to snipe um, those turrets. Well, if we know that that area up there is clear, then what I'm probably going to do is uh, I'll send the observation camera over there with you. If you can get a good spot, let me know. Yeah, hold on. Oh, oh. Gotta be careful. No, yeah. <laughs> ah, you yeah, got it marked. Good, good. Yeah. Uh, he's dead. Oh, wow, yeah. Doing good that's, work with the 40 millimeter. That's too close, though. That's the... I, I can't risk this one. This is really beat up. I'm taking over the other world as that's going going up. Gotcha. Just careful getting into a traffic jam on that ramp. Outside of the stations,
Clarity upstairs. The turrets are down? I think so. I can only see south side of the this thingy, the capture point. So north side is it does appear that all hostile robotics are down, Captain. That's just weird for there to be so few. Well, we took out almost a dozen of them at the shore because they chose to attack us after I invaded their territory. That is fair. Alright, hold tight. I'm going to put together another convoy towards the south end of the island and uh, start sending them in. Feel free to check the rest of the area out. Um, you know, want to make sure that the uh, virus bots get in okay. <laughs> But yeah, I think, Slip, you're right that at least for the future, if we can, you know, sneak the virus bots in earlier and maybe take over the turrets on the island, then maybe that'll help us find the rest of this stuff. Because mainly the, the point here is to make sure that we actually, you know, take out everything on the island. Doesn't necessarily have to be an order of operations of, okay, kill everything first, then capture the island. Agreed. Purple is taking their sixth, their sixth island, Agma. Next, next most likely target Evergreen, which means, uh, depending on what Green takes, next they will start purple and green will start fighting each other. I guess we'll see. In the meantime, pink is making their way directly for us, so they're probably going to be our first uh, opponent, and that is not good because we're not even going to have fuel up yet. Should. Divert some small amount of power oh my towards repairs. Okay. We're not at one of. Them. Oh, you got it. You got sure, it. One more. Yep. All right, there you go. That That's should be all of them. All the turrets on the target. Anyway. Virus bot seals almost linked up. I'm gonna go ahead and get that convoy started moving on the target. I'm going to go ahead and start bringing the carrier around as well. 
Slip, do me a favor, keep an eye on where the carrier's at, try to bring it around to the north end of the island. Roger. Well, I definitely think I've made a lot of mistakes worth learning from in this first experience, but we'll see where we go from here. <laughs> kind of clean watching carry from the distance. Yeah, you gotta make sure to uh turn off that little switch. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Whoops. Thank you. Yeah, I had maintained heading on so that it's not like wobbling all over the place and bumping into sandbars. I'm really surprised that there wasn't more resistance. I only fired one volley of the 160 millimeter. I didn't think that would take out like the majority of defenses on the island. That that initial engagement just didn't seem big enough to me. I don't know. No, it was about on part of our size. You should be able to bring us uh, due east here and just kind of come up alongside the beach. We're going to want a quick retrieval. Hey, right, Captain. Uh, I can see a light, but I think it's very far away. I uh, checked the map. Could be our next target. Isolus? Is it to the east? Yeah, east, southeast. Then, yeah, uh, southeast. Hmm. Southeast. Almost directly southeast, very one three three. Oh, you know what? That might be the barge over at uh, Bounty Bar. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, directly east, uh, roughly east northeast uh, of you should be the next target island, Isolus. Okay. Yeah. Alright, oh, virus bots this. deployed. Uh, area around the capture point is six, so I think we should. Yeah, what do you think? We retract those three walls. Park the ship. Yep, I've got all the uh, ground units moving out to the beach to meet us. Nice. It's a bit far out. Do you want me to move? Try to move it in more. I was afraid of hitting sandbars. Uh, it should be alright. We have the uh, depth sonar. I will move it in just a little bit closer for retrieval. Gotcha. So here comes the part that is going to take some practice to get used to. We're going to need to do this weird shuffle where we get the walruses that are supposed to be
you know, persistently deployed out of the carrier, get everybody else back in, and then each of us is going to have to try and manually sort of, you know, drive the walruses back inside and get them wedged in nice and tight. Because uh, I did have an instance, my, my initial attempt at doing this, um, I just kind of drove the walruses into the back wall. And the thing is, they're not secured there correctly. So they ended up getting immediately washed out of the carrier as I started to try and pull away by the waves. Because they're deployed, the waves affect them. And we've, seen, we've all seen the carrier turn into a temporary submarine. So that, that did in fact happen. So we'll have to be... Uh, instead, you have to sort of wedge them in with the other vehicles. All enemies have taken their sixth uh, island. Purple's next objective is Evergreen, while Green's next objective is Stavros. Okay, so we need to deploy. Is headed north towards S8. possibly Beacon or Endymion. Meanwhile, if I follow um, Ink's pattern of taking over islands, the next one should be Akron, but the most logical choice would be Bacchus. Unfortunately for me, there's never going to be any semblance of uh, organization to these units ever again. I like having specific bays be for specific loadouts, but we're just going to have to keep track of each one individually. Also, do you mind if I prepare the carrier holds? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. What happened? Sure. Maybe one of those missiles hit us. Maybe. Yeah, it's possible it got too close before C was shot it down. We successfully capture. Green continues on their path, they will be heading straight for us. I did not realize I deployed that walrus too soon. That's another thing I wish I could mod, how fast those things repair themselves. Previously, when you set up a new unit, it just started at full health. Uh, but they didn't like that, because that meant that people were, you know, just kind of cycling things in and out. Like, oh yeah, one of my units came back to my ship and it's injured, here, let me put it back in storage, and then immediately redeploy it, you know, back into the loadout, and it'll just be fully healed right away. So they could skip the, you know, repair time. So to fix that, instead of everything defaulting to max HP, they all default to 1 HP. And then they have to be repaired before they can be deployed. So I guess this is where we will go ahead and wrap up our first quote-unquote episode. Um, oh, there was still a turret left on the island, so we have a bit of a, you know, uh, early warning system. And we're going to be moving towards Isolus next. Um... Yeah, the uh, enemy carrier down here in the south is definitely seems to be moving in our direction, just taking every island on the way. And uh, so we'll see. Our main priority is going to be hitting up uh, Koyade uh, because they have fuel, and we are going to need that. I gave us a decent head start on fuel, but I didn't want to overdo it because, you know, we, there should be at least some threat involved. But at the very least, it doesn't seem like fuel is a concern for our units. So, we'll go ahead and skip the boring part, and I'll end the recording here. And, uh, this is kind of the beginning of our campaign. I don't expect to record the entire campaign either. Um, I will probably just have like the couple of community episodes and so each time 
you know, we'll kind of get updates on what's happened and uh, that sort of thing. Since you I was know, about to say, is that is that it for tonight? That's oh true. no, I'm I'm gonna keep going, but you know, like I said, I'm gonna end the recording because there's a lot of in between time, and this is sort of the the part of Carrier Command that I like that isn't really marketable to YouTube, right? You know, nobody wants to sit around and watch nothing happening while we do our little dance with all these walruses and you know uh, have to set up logistics and travel and you know nothing's really happening now combat especially heavy combat and where you know losses are taking place and we're learning things and all of that that's interesting that's stuff that you want to record and you know show the world so for these sort of in between moments we'll uh go ahead and you know cut the footage and spare our viewers the time you know So, we'll catch you guys next time, and, uh, you know, once again, we had Wishnu and Slipsilver, who, yeah, on Steam is PJA. <laughs> Long story.